10 reactions of your body when consuming 5 grams of creatine per day. Creatine has become one of the most popular supplements in the fitness world, primarily recognized for its ability to improve physical performance and enhance muscle growth. However, what many don't know is that its benefits go far beyond simple strength and mass gains. When we consume the standard recommended dose of 5 grams daily, our body experiences a series of reactions, both positive and some that deserve attention. That's why today, you'll see the 10 main reactions your body presents when supplementing creatine regularly. Before diving into the reactions themselves, one thing needs to be very clear. Contrary to what many believe, there is no conclusive scientific evidence establishing a direct link between creatine consumption and hair loss. This myth gained strength due to a single preliminary study that observed a small increase in DHT levels, a hormone related to male baldness, after creatine supplementation. However, the study had a limited sample and never effectively demonstrated hair loss in participants. More recent reviews of scientific literature, including comprehensive meta-analyses, have found no causal relationship between creatine and alopecia. Therefore, if you have that friend who says you'll go bald from taking creatine, send this video to them so they understand that this concern is not supported by current science. Now let's look at the true reactions that creatine causes. Reaction number one, improvement in mental health and cognitive function. One of the lesser known benefits of creatine, but equally impressive, is its positive impact on brain health and cognitive functions. Creatine works in the brain similarly to muscles, providing quick energy to neural cells through the phosphocreatine system. Scientific research has revealed surprising results in this area. A study published in the journal Neuroscience Letters demonstrated that creatine supplementation significantly improved working memory and fluid intelligence in vegetarian volunteers who naturally have lower creatine levels in their bodies. Another study in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society showed that creatine reduced mental fatigue during challenging cognitive tasks and improved performance in complex mathematical calculations. The mechanism behind these cognitive benefits is related to greater energy availability for neurons. The brain, despite representing only 2% of body weight, consumes about 20% of the body's total energy. Creatine helps maintain brain ATP levels, especially in situations of mental stress or during tasks that require prolonged attention and intense reasoning. Additionally, creatine appears to have neuroprotective effects. Research published in the Journal of Neurochemistry suggests that it may protect neurons against oxidative and excitotoxic damage, reducing the risk of neurodegeneration. This neuroprotective potential has led scientists to investigate its use as an adjuvant in treating conditions such as depression, bipolar disorder, and even Alzheimer's disease. Reaction 2. Effects on Kidneys One of the most discussed topics when talking about creatine is its potential impact on kidney health. When consuming 5 grams daily, it's natural that concerns arise about how the kidneys process this supplement. Let's analyze this from a scientific perspective. First, it's important to understand that creatine is naturally metabolized by the body into creatinine, a substance that is filtered by the kidneys and excreted in urine. When you supplement with creatine, blood creatinine levels tend to increase, which may seem alarming in laboratory tests. However, this increase is an expected consequence of creatine metabolism and does not necessarily indicate kidney damage. Long-term studies have consistently demonstrated that creatine supplementation at recommended doses does not cause kidney damage in healthy individuals. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine reviewed dozens of studies and concluded that there is no evidence that creatine harms kidney function in people without pre-existing kidney disease. Even studies that followed athletes for periods of up to five years found no significant changes in kidney health markers. However, it's prudent to consider some important aspects. Adequate hydration is essential during creatine supplementation, as it promotes water retention in muscle cells. Staying well hydrated helps the kidneys process creatinine efficiently. Additionally, people with a history of kidney disease or with risk factors for kidney problems should consult a doctor before starting supplementation. To monitor kidney health during prolonged supplementation, periodic blood and urine tests can be performed. 
especially if you have specific concerns or risk factors. Markers such as glomerular filtration rate, urea levels, and serum create 9 can provide insights into how your kidneys are functioning. Reaction 3. Improves muscle recovery. Creatin acts directly on the energy production system of muscle cells, increasing phosphocreatin levels, which serves as a quick energy reserve during exercise. This increased reserve not only improves your performance during training, but also accelerates recovery after physical exertion. Additionally, creatin promotes intramuscular water retention, creating an effect known as cell volumization. This anabolic environment favors protein synthesis and tissue recovery. Increased cell hydration also optimizes the transport of essential nutrients for muscle reconstruction and more efficient removal of metabolites that can slow recovery. Reaction 4. Increase in bone density. While many associate this supplement only with muscle development, recent research has revealed that creatin can play a significant role in strengthening and maintaining bone mineral density, especially when combined with resistance exercises. Creatine appears to influence bone health through multiple mechanisms. First, by improving muscle strength and performance, it allows you to train with heavier loads, which by itself already stimulates positive bone remodeling. The mechanical stress applied to bones during resistance training signals bone cells to increase mineral deposition, strengthening bone structure. Particularly interesting is a study published in the International Journal of Sport Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism, which followed postmenopausal women, a group traditionally considered at high risk for osteoporosis, during a weight training program. Participants who received creatin showed significantly greater increases in bone mineral density compared to the placebo group, suggesting a protective effect against age-related bone loss. The benefit of creatin for bone health may also be especially relevant for athletes with increased risk of stress fractures, such as long-distance runners. The improvement in structural integrity of the bone can increase its resistance to microfractures caused by repetitive impacts. Reaction 5 potential to reduce blood glucose. This property has sparked interest in the scientific community for its possible benefits in glycemic management and prevention of metabolic problems, such as insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. The mechanism behind this effect is related to how creatin influences glucose transport and utilization by muscles. When you regularly supplement with creatin, there is an increase in the expression of glucose transporters in muscle cells. These transporters are responsible for taking glucose from the blood and bringing it into the muscle, where it will be used as an energy source or stored as glycogen. Studies published in the journal Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise have demonstrated that creatine supplementation can increase insulin sensitivity by up to 23% in healthy individuals. This means the body needs to produce less insulin to process the same amount of glucose reducing stress on the pancreas and decreasing the risk of developing insulin resistance over time. Research conducted at the University of Saskatchewan demonstrated that the combination of creatin supplementation with resistance training produced significant improvements in glycemic control in participants with type 2 diabetes, suggesting that this supplement may have therapeutic applications beyond the sports context. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Having constant access to correct and science-based information is what will make you progress in the long term in the bodybuilding world. Reaction 6. Prevents Muscle Aging As we age, our body goes through a natural process called sarcopenia, the progressive loss of muscle mass and strength. This condition, which usually accelerates after age 50, is not just an aesthetic issue, but also a serious public health problem, as it is directly related to loss of mobility independence, and quality of life in older adults. Daily consumption of creatine emerges as a promising strategy to combat this age-related decline. Longitudinal studies have demonstrated that creatine can significantly slow muscle loss in older people. A study published in the Journal of Gerontology, Biological sciences followed adults over 60 years old during a strength training program and found that those who supplemented with creatine obtained lean mass gains three times greater than the control group. The mechanism behind this involves several factors. First, creatine increases energy production in muscle cells, partially compensating for the natural decline in mitochondrial efficiency that occurs with aging. 
This allows muscle fibers of older people to work with intensity, similar to those of younger individuals during exercise. Additionally, creatine appears to stimulate anabolic signaling pathways that tend to become less responsive with age. The practical implications of these benefits are profound for the elderly population. Maintaining muscle mass means better balance and lower risk of falls, one of the main causes of hospitalization and loss of independence in older adults. Stronger muscles also mean greater capacity to perform daily activities such as climbing stairs, carrying groceries, or getting up from a chair without assistance. Fundamental skills for an autonomous life. Reaction 7. Possible gastrointestinal discomfort. Although creatine is generally well tolerated by most people, daily consumption may cause gastrointestinal discomfort in some individuals, especially during the first weeks of supplementation. The most commonly reported symptoms include abdominal bloating, gas, mild cramps, and, in some cases, diarrhea. These discomforts are generally related to the fact that creatine attracts water to the intestine through a process known as osmotic pressure. When a significant amount of creatine is not absorbed in the small intestine and passes to the large intestine, it can attract water to the intestinal lumen, altering stool consistency and potentially causing diarrhea. The intensity of these symptoms varies considerably among individuals. Some people never experience any discomfort, while others may be more sensitive. Fortunately, for most people who experience these effects, symptoms tend to diminish or disappear completely after a few weeks, as the body adapts to regular supplementation. There are effective strategies to minimize these discomforts. One approach is to always consume creatine with a meal containing carbohydrates. Carbohydrates stimulate insulin release, which not only facilitates creatine absorption by muscles, but can also improve its intestinal absorption, reducing the amount that reaches the large intestine. Adequate hydration is also crucial. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day helps dilute the concentration of creatine in the intestine and facilitates its absorption, in addition to compensating for the intramuscular water retention induced by creatine. Finally, it's important to note that persistence of severe gastrointestinal symptoms may indicate individual intolerance to creatine. In these rare cases, it may be necessary to discontinue supplementation or explore smaller dosages. Reaction 8. Improvement in Cardiovascular Health The heart is essentially a muscle that works incessantly and, as such, depends on a constant and efficient energy supply. Creatine plays a crucial role in cardiac energy metabolism, serving as a quick reserve of high-energy phosphates that can be used in situations of increased demand or low oxygen supply. Studies published in the Journal of Molecular and Cellular Cardiology have demonstrated that adequate levels of creatine in cardiac tissue can protect against ischemic damage caused by reduced blood flow and improve heart recovery after events such as heart attacks. Beyond its direct effects on cardiac metabolism, creatine appears to positively influence several cardiovascular risk factors. A study conducted by the University of Saarland in Germany found that creatine supplementation for 56 days significantly reduced blood homocysteine levels in healthy men. Elevated homocysteine is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular diseases associated with damage to arterial walls and increased risk of clot formation. Research published in the Journal of Hypertension suggests that creatine may also contribute to blood pressure control. The proposed mechanism involves improvement in endothelial function, the inner lining of blood vessels, and possible modulation of the renin-angiotensin system, an important regulator of blood pressure. Although the observed effects are modest, they may be clinically relevant as part of a comprehensive approach to cardiovascular health. Reaction 9. Promotes resistance to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between the production of free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage cells, and the body's ability to neutralize them through antioxidants. This process is implicated in cellular aging and various health conditions. During intense exercise, free radical production increases significantly as a result of accelerated energy metabolism. Although a certain level of oxidative stress is necessary for positive adaptations to training, Excess can lead to muscle damage, prolonged inflammation, and impaired recovery. This is where creatine demonstrates a surprising facet of its benefits. Research published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research has demonstrated that creatine supplementation 
can reduce markers of oxidative damage after high-intensity exercises. The most interesting aspect of this benefit is that, unlike some antioxidants that may interfere with positive adaptations to training, creatine appears to offer selective protection. It reduces excessive oxidative damage without compromising the metabolic signals necessary for muscle growth and exercise adaptations. Beyond the sports context, this antioxidant capacity may also contribute to the neuroprotective benefits of creatine, since the brain is particularly susceptible to oxidative stress due to its high oxygen consumption and rich composition of easily oxidizable fatty acids. Reaction 10. Benefits in Vegetarian and Vegan Diets Creatine is naturally found mainly in animal products such as red meat and fish, leaving vegetarians and vegans with typically lower levels of this compound in their bodies. To give you a better idea, comparative studies published in the British Journal of Nutrition have demonstrated that vegetarians have, on average, 20 to 30 percent less creatine in their muscles than people who regularly consume meat. This difference is not surprising considering that an omnivorous person obtains approximately 1 to 2 grams of creatine daily through diet, while vegetarians depend almost exclusively on internal creatine production by the liver and kidneys, which is around 1 gram per day. Research published in the International Journal of Sport Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism revealed that vegetarians tend to show greater percentage gains in strength, power, and lean mass when supplementing with creatine, compared to omnivores. This phenomenon occurs precisely because their muscles start from a state of lower creatine saturation, allowing greater margin for improvement. Beyond muscular benefits, creatine supplementation may have even more pronounced cognitive impacts in vegetarians. A study from the University of Oxford published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that vegetarians who received creatine supplementation for just five days demonstrated significant improvements in memory and intelligence tests, while omnivores showed less expressive improvements. Finally, we have one last warning. There are 10 mistakes many people make when taking creatine, which unfortunately can convert this great supplement into something dangerous to your body. If you want to know what they are, we've left a video appearing right now on the screen showing and explaining each one of them. Don't miss it. Thank you for watching this far and may God bless you, my friend.